Hello everybody and welcome to What's Cooking Wednesday. Today we are going to make some uh, bread bowls. Who doesn't like Panera bread bowls? Filled up with some hearty soup. Um, you need three cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, and for the fast method, you need two teaspoons of yeast. And one and a half cups of water that's not over 130 degrees. So what we're gonna do is put your, you put your, well, put your yeast and your salt in, and then stir it up so that there, it's all throughout the flour. Put you a little well in the center, add your hot water. And the easiest way to mix this is with a spoon. You don't, there's no kneading of this bread. So if you got a nice wooden spoon, take the handle and stir it around. I have this because I bake a lot. So, and what this is, these are gonna be artisan bread bowls. Um, what, what artisan means anymore is ugly. So if you make an ugly roll, ugly bread, it's artisan. So this is a this is a 50% bread, which means you've got 50% water to 50% flour ratio. And just keep stirring it. It's gonna be sticky. Okay, so once the bread looks like this, it's kind of shredded looking. If you've got a, uh, if you have a bowl scraper or dough scraper, just go ahead and get in there, keep turning it and mushing it. If not, this part you will need to do with your hands. So I can show that. Just keep pushing it down and turning it and get all of the flour incorporated in it. Shouldn't take very long. Turn it, picking up the flour. Once you're done with it, put it into a ball. You're gonna wanna cover this with uh, some saran wrap and set it someplace warm to rise. If you have a place, uh, if your house is too drafty, some of us do, what you can do is cover it with saran wrap, put it in the oven, and then put a hot bowl of water underneath it and let it rise for at least an hour. Um, if you wanna make this bread and you really wanna develop the flavor, you can punch this down after an hour up to two times. So um, after the first rising, after the first hour, you punch it down, put it, form it back into a ball, let it rise again, and it really develops the flavor on it. Okay, so here's our bread doubled, or our dough doubled in size and for comparison. I'll show you this one. So we're doubled in size and ready to make some bread bowls. So what we're gonna do, flour surface. Get this to come out of the bowl. Okay. So divide your dough into four. You'll you'll be able to get four good size uh, bread bowls out of this. So that'll be the second, and this one will be the third. Okay, roll it in. You don't want to add too much flour to them at this point, um, because the whole thing is to keep keep your bread warm while you're still working with it. Just keep tucking it in, tucking it under like that, and when you get it to the point where it's just starting to feel a little bit sticky, start closing up the bottom of it. And just keep pinching it in. 
right like that. Make sure that you get the top and the bottom. You get them floured and then set them down because we're gonna let we're gonna let them rise on this uh, on this towel. Now here's this third one. Just remember, just keep tucking it in and turning it at the same time. It's kind of, it's almost like making a pizza dough. Once it starts feeling a little sticky, just keep tucking it and turning it until it doesn't pop apart anymore. Right like that. Roll it. And these will get fairly large. So you can let them rise like this or you can put them in a I'd say probably 10 ounce ramekins, which I've used before. Okay. Keep going around. Once it starts feeling sticky, close it up on the bottom. Just keep pinching it until it doesn't have any more openings in the bottom. Right like that. There you go. Sometimes you get these bubbles in the pop in the top. You can pop them or not. And there we go. So part of the next process is these will be baked at 420 degrees in the oven, um, and it's almost like a baguette. Uh, a baguette dough. You want to. Uh, you're going to have some hot water in the bottom of the oven. And we'll show you that so that you get that nice crispy crust. We'll show you that as we uh, get further along. Cover them with a towel. Let them rise in a nice warm spot for about an hour. Or at least until they're doubled in size. And then you're ready to bake them. Okay. So our hour's up. And here's our, uh, here's our bread. It's doubled in size. Um, to put these over onto your uh, cookie sheet. You just want to kind of pick them up easily like that. And looks like we're only gonna get two of these on here, maybe three. Yeah, three. So if you're not gonna use these for bread bowls, if you're not gonna use these for bread bowls, you can uh, take this entire, instead of making four bread bowls, you can do one big loaf of artisan bread. Okay, so we're ready to put them in the oven. You can see our pan of shallow pan of water in the bottom. And then I'm just going to slide them right in here. Make sure that you're careful opening the oven when you've got the water in the bottom because the steam will really build up in there. And uh, you don't want to burn your eyebrows. 